The Wings to Fly 2018 cohort has been constituted. The selection process started with announcements in the media and places of worship for students from needy backgrounds to apply for the scholarships. <laughs> Kwa hivyo katika hizi branches za Equity Bank waweza kumjulisha yule mzazi awe ni mwenye kwenda kuchukua ile form apate kumjazia mtoto wake apate kupata scholarship. Can I request you to advise all 2017 KCPE candidates under your jurisdiction who come from humble backgrounds and are financially needed to collect the scholarship application forms from the nearest Equity branch or equity bank agents and apply for the scholarship. Over 20,000 pupils who sat the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education KCPE exam in 2017 applied for scholarships offered by Equity Group in partnership with MasterCard Foundation with support from other partners. Soon after applications were submitted, Community Scholarship Selection Board CSSBs embarked on shortlisting candidates to ensure that only scholars who met the selection criteria were picked. The CSSB is made of representatives from the community who include administrators, educators, community leaders, women representatives, youth, religious leaders and equity agents. The interviews were then followed by home verification visits by CSSB members to confirm that the applicants shortlisted for the support in secondary school were indeed needy. Musa Zakaria lives by the seashore in Mombasa, where his mother has rented a two by two meter room in Moroto village, located in the backwaters of the Indian Ocean. Life in the slum at Chuda is hard. But Musa was determined to excel in spite of the circumstances. Sleeping on bare wires of a mattress has fired his desire for a better life for himself, his only sister and his mother in the future by working hard in school to become a surgeon. Faith Aragai hails from Lutubai village to Kana County, where pastoralism is the way of life. Water is scarce in this semi-arid area, and livestock is the main source of livelihood. However, for Aragai, these hardship conditions were compounded with the death of her father, leaving her mother to raise her and her six siblings alone. I did my KCP in local primary school and I got 351 marks. Now, thanks to the Wings to Fly scholarship, Aregai's access to secondary education is assured. I'm Jane Lugul Girls High School. When I grew up, I went to be a surgeon. The rising sun over Mfangano Island in Lake Victoria finds Community Scholarship Selection Board members boarding a boat in Beta Point for a home verification visit. The 12 nautical mile journey to the remote Wakula village on the island is followed by a torturous journey in the hilly area. Once you dock, accessibility anywhere is by motorbike. Their mission is to inspect the home of Levis Okini, a 12-year-old orphan who lost both parents at an early age. The reason why I applied for the Wings to Fly scholarship was that was there was no one who could access for me my school fees. Having children of her own, his stepmother Jane Okal finds it difficult to fend for Okini adequately. Uh, the reason why I want to be an engineer, I will help the community by erecting electricity to their homes. Deep in the heartland of Vihiga County, atop Maragoli Hills, we find Jessica Mbone. The 14-year-old lives with her paternal grandmother, Famine Sodali, after the death of her mother. I 
na aswa lengo langu lilikuwa ni pite mtia due to the dire situation at her home Mbone applied for the wings to fly scholarship and was shortlisted for follower nikubimana ya 10 na jeska mamewe la kuza la andekera abe nimi higa kum mami nizana angale Kamwangi village in Gatondo North Subcounty Thika is home to 13-year-old Jesse Wahio. Jesse was born physically challenged, but that did not deter him from attaining 363 marks in the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams. The first born in a family of three, Jesse had been raised by a single mother. His sister has been deaf and mute since she was a year old. Penina Mlogo Muzigo is the only girl child in a family of seven. Her home is at Ofisi Ajara, Likoni, where she lives in a single room together with her five siblings and a single parent, her father. The end of a corridor serves as a kitchen and sitting space. From the tender age of seven years, Mlogo took up a mother's role of cooking for the family. A visit at the home reveals that the only shelter fits two beds one for the five boys and the other for the father. The vacant space left is only big enough to accommodate a mattress that is placed against the wall by day and laid on the floor by night for Mlogo to sleep on. It is this bed space that Mlogo uses for studies. Mlogo was among scholars who applied for the Wings to Fly sponsorship, having attained a remarkable 410 marks to gain admission to the Kenya High School in Nairobi. There's no way I can, I can talk to her because I don't know where she is. She's also struggling and whatever she went, I heard that she also has another family. I need to self-drive because I'm sure. With home visits completed, the boards reassembled to review reports and draw the final list of applicants shortlisted to join the program. Give us a report of where you went. You have your priority list according to the visit. With the selection process concluded, the beneficiaries assembled at various locations for flag off by their communities before leaving for an induction course in Nairobi. We are very, very proud as Kenyans to see our own institution uh, achieve success of this magnitude. My brothers from Equity convey my very best wishes to your uh, leadership and your partners to Meskia Jina Mastercard na Wengine. Accept the gratitude of Kenyans, accept my personal gratitude. Kosabu Wengi our Toto Hawa. You can actually see many of these children at the assembly at Kenyatta University, new scholars joined counterparts who were admitted to the program in 2013 and sat the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education exams in 2017. Among the scholars were nine Wings to Fly beneficiaries who scored straight A and another who scored A- in the 2017 KCSE examination. These young scholars have demonstrated that a child given a chance and an opportunity they can unlock their full potential. And sometimes it's barriers that hold us back uh, from realizing our dreams. I managed to get 388 marks and successfully joined the Equity Group Foundation and under the Wings to Fly program as a, one of the scholars. I have been transformed. And from where I am right now, I know I am a global leader. And wherever I go, with the education I've been given and with the knowledge I have, I know I can transform the world. I got the Equity Group Foundation Wings to Fly, so I was very happy. I remember I promised the board that I'll make it no matter what. So in my high school, I had a clear vision, I had a goal. 
that one day I'll make it in life and fulfill that promise I made. I'd like to encourage those scholars who are still struggling there. Uh, you can make it, even if you come from a poor background. These top performing scholars will be joining Equity Leaders Program and have a chance to work in Equity Bank's paid internship program. Equity Bank has extended the same offer to the top boy and girl from each sub-county where it has a branch and all students who scored A nationally. The 2018 class of Wings to Fly scholars received their comprehensive secondary school scholarship letters from the Education Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Fred Mattiani, at a commissioning ceremony held at Kenyatta University in Nairobi. The event was also graced by Lucy Gishuhi, Senator for South Australia. The Equity Foundation, MasterCard, you have done your part and you continue to do your part. It is also necessary for all of us to do our part. We have enough resources in our country to support our children individually and collectively. Education is the surest way of eradicating poverty in a family and is the surest way of transforming a society. The kids we have here, as we saw, they went to the lower of the lowest schools in this country, the schools as we saw in rural areas in slums. But here they are. The objective of the country under Vision 2030 is to be globally competitive. We can be only as competitive as the quality of our education system and the capacity of our people. Be curious about the world. Be open to new opportunities. There are big challenges in Kenya and across Africa that you can use your education to address. I was in your shoes. Your dreams are valid. When I was going to Helera Primary School, we shared a bed with eight of my sisters. Stick to being yourself. Simplify your life because you are enough. This year, 1,000 students were given scholarships, bringing the total number of scholars in the Wings to Fly program to 15,168. Disadvantaged families, or orphans, or poor, are very bright children. So the Wings to Fly project have really helped these children in acquiring their ambition. This Wings to Fly program through Equity Bank Foundation has had tremendous impact. It is shaping them to become also leaders in future. And once they are through the program, they are also given some kind of attachment, which is also giving them a broader perspective of the world of work. Wings to Fly are really penetrating at the community level, helping the really needy ones and the poor kids.